Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Jimmy again, coming to you with question 25 from our formative chapter 8 formative pretest. We have not discussed this topic yet. If you're watching this at roughly about let's say 7:15 this morning, but we will go over today in class, and this would be a great thing for you to kind of hit up this this evening as you take a look at your homework for tonight. So it says here, and here's my my simple interest formula. If you want to think of that, that. I, which stands for simple interest, equals P, which is the principal, the amount of money you borrowed or invested, times the rate, which is the rate of interest, that's a percent charged or earned on the money that you are borrowing or invested, times time. And that goes with time that the money was borrowed or invested in years. So if we take a look here at our problem, Todd had to pay $1,147.50 of simple interest on a loan with an annual simple interest rate of 8.5% that he had for five years. Assuming he makes one payment at the end of the loan, what was the principal of the loan? Okay, so I am trying to find the principal of the loan. So I know I am trying to solve for P. So that means I'm giving all, I've given all, I'm given all the other variables as I stutter there several times. So Todd had to pay one thousand one hundred forty seven dollars and fifty cents of interest so that must be the interest so that is my I on a loan with an annual simple interest rate of eight and a half percent so annual simple interest rate of eight and a half percent so that is my rate of interest so that's my R now and he had that he had for five years so he had that for five years okay so there's my time five years so now I'm gonna figure out what was the principal what was the amount that he borrowed to begin with we know that this was the, the 114750 was the interest that was charged but we need to figure out what he ended up borrowing to begin with so I'm gonna start with my formula or the the formula for simple interest equals I, which is simple interest is equal to P, the principal, times the rate of interest, how much I'm being charged to borrow this money, what percent, times time in years. So if I take a look, he had to pay $1,147.50 of his simple interest. So that's my I. So I'm just going to substitute. Now that is going to be equal to I don't know because I'm trying to find the principal. I don't know what the P is. So the P is the unknown in this. I'm going to times that by... Now what I'm going to do is that rate, I'm going to convert that to a decimal right now. So 8.5% as a decimal, move the decimal place two places to the left. One, two. So that really becomes 85 thousandths. And he borrowed this money for a time period of five years. Now what's great about this side of my formula or we can even look at it as now as an equation because we have the unknown here is its multiplication we know multiplication is commutative it does not matter the order that I multiply in I will still get the same product so I'm gonna leave 114750 over here I can't do anything with it yet it is equal to and I'm just gonna rearrange this I'm gonna make this now 85 thousandths times 5 times P. So I get my calculator out. I'm going to multiply this. And let's see what is 85 thousandths times 5. And I get my answer of oops 425 thousandths times P is going to be equal to how much I paid in interest, which was $1,147.50. Now, it just becomes a simple equation that I am solving for P. I want to evaluate for P. I don't want 425 thousands of P. I want to figure out what 1P is. So now I'm figuring out, again, how much I did indeed borrow to begin with. So I'm going to divide both sides by 425 thousandths. So I'm going to take 
$1,147.50 divided by 425 thousandths. And I know that the principal that I borrowed, so the P isn't equal to, I ended up borrowing $2,700. Boys and girls, if you understand what each one of these variables represent, using this right here, these problems are simply just substitution, multiplying, and dividing, and solving. All right, hope this makes sense. Take care.